good way to, uh, to get I, something I teach good out that. Of hey, join. You sneak. You gotta join. It's very cheap right now. Join our secret server. I teach that how to spike her excitement and then leave. So she's laughing and goes, I want more of Zerka. I teach this game that you need. Go to my website at thezerkaofficial.com. Learn manipulation, bro. In the second the, the news is the news is on Sneeko, Hassan, Piers, they're all going to attack the shit out of you. That's what I'm saying. But we can, bro, look at this. You know how much money you'll make? You know every right-wing green channel, the Islamic channel. You know every right wing and cool with them red channel, and the middle that's like red pill. What do you mean by I green channel? They, like Islamic color green, right? Okay, green yeah, and yeah, red. Yeah. You you're the only YouTuber or whatever you are, <laughs> Rumbler. You're the only guy who has the whole right wing you've met in person. Each one of them, so you can actually be the bridge of money. You can make all the money. Like what channel talks to thirty? Right wingers that are Christians and thirty right wingers that are Islamic. So no channel does. Like, could you imagine a podcast where you put one Destiny blue guy, a bunch of green channels, a bunch of red channels, and then all the hating women crowd versus all the cucks on one big fat call called the Sneeko Show? You're not thinking big enough, bro. Whatever you did today should be your style, bro. Fridays, you should one in the chat if you agree. This is how Sneeko should run his streams Fridays. I always win, bro. I always win. See, I knew you, as soon as you said that, I knew you were hanging up too, and I, I hung up with Sneeko at the same time. You found a good way to, to, I, to get I something good out that. of the situation. Jo hey, join, you Sneeko, you gotta join. It's very cheap right now. Join our secret server. I teach that how to spike her excitement and then leave. So she's laughing and goes, I want more of Zerka. I teach this game that you need. Go to my website at thezerkaofficial.com. Learn manipulation, bro. But she did kind of look related to you. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but with, with lip fillers and um, a little more Molly in her system. I'll tell you this, though. Besides her getting piped like a f which pissed me off for real. But I wanted to be cool for the show, for you. But I really want to just, like, tell her off. Bro. If she wasn't like getting pipe, she's just regular gamer. It's a pretty good personality she has. What is it with the video game girls? I don't, I don't understand why they, why do video video game girls turn into the biggest? Like that? I'll tell you this, bro. When girls tell me they play games, video games, all guys get excited except me. I find it very weird. Like video games, you're a girl that's playing. Like what? I mean, it's better than her going. I would prefer girls like sitting there playing video games than than going out and clubbing all the time. But there's only one type of girl that's the best. It's the closest thing to the virgin. It's the one that's always in a relationship. Those are the good ones. You know, those ones who are like, I've been with this guy four years, this guy seven years. Those are the only last normal ones in America, right? Yeah. And I mean, taking... she was cool though. She was she was cool though. We, we could probably use her again for content. So we should. Um... What's her name Wait, again? When the f did you hit the 9K? Um, I think we're on the home page right now. Whoa. Yeah, they we're on the home page don't right wanna, now. They still don't want to give me a deal. Wow. We, we, we can figure something. Okay, well. Uh, <laughs> <'cause> I, <laughs> guy, we can figure something out. We'll figure something out. We'll figure just, something he out. He keeps, do my stream <laughs> for me. We'll figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me grab a drink, bro. This okay, guy go is ahead, go ahead. dirty. Okay, he's going to have a stiff coke right now. Crazy how no one has donated. Thanks, Sir Hugglesworth. Love the stream. Looking forward to connecting with you in the future. Um, hopefully, join the team collab. Love speech. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Appreciate you, man. Yep. Just join the, join the Twitter community. Okay, now we got to figure out what to do. Juco, Juco. Talk about Nick. He's doing it. He actually is doing a coke break right now, huh? Play Drake and Josh. Nah, I'm good. What now? We can go on Monkey. I think that's the rest of the girls. Um, for Muslims, that's not too, that, that's not that bad, is it? To do content like this, like, gamer girls have 50 simps on rosters. Yeah, I know. I mean, who do you think she's playing Fortnite with? Who do you, she's sitting on Discord, getting attention from, like, tons of, um, uh, tons of nerds. And that's her, that's her entire roster. Sneeko loves girls. Who doesn't love girls, princess? We all love girls, bro. TTS, I could, I, if I turn it back on now, um, the people in the call can't hear it. 
Sneeko looking out for Zerka. Yeah, man, I care about my Zerka. I just want, I want my whole team to win. But every time, Zerka's just like identical to Neon in that way. When a female gets around, they just start like snaking me for, for brownie points. But, you know, I would never do the same thing. I would never do the same thing. It's okay. Talk about the guy on fire. What did you think about that guy that lit himself on fire in front of the Trump courthouse? Oh, he, just, he can't hear me. Did you see that guy light himself on fire in front of the courthouse? Yeah. This is the new Stop giving these people attention that light themselves on fire. It's the same reason that schools happen every single, like every three months. It's because they go viral. Like people, it, it's, it's actually insane that we're living amongst these people where people want to go viral so badly that will gladly up a church and light themselves on fire like this because they want to go, it doesn't, their life, their life doesn't matter. They have no <laughs> sense of, they have no sense of what's the, of the future of repercussions of their actions. They will literally light themselves on fire for a headline. Stop like it, the, the, the whole reason this happened, Chad, is because you guys and a lot of Muslims that are watching the stream right now, when the guy lit himself on fire for Palestine, you guys applauded it and called him a like martyr. You called him a hero. You said thank you to this person. You made his name ring through the streets. You guys are chanting his name at a protest. If you're gonna go. Kill yourself they're gonna make it to the bottom the depths of hell you don't want to give these people attention they're not doing something that's good and god is not going to be happy for these people it's one of the worst things you could commit it doesn't matter like that you attach it to a cause if you're going to kill yourself for trump you're an idiot stop giving these people attention he was based are you he lit himself on fire why this guy's clearly mentally insane don't read his manifesto stop You're freaking me out, bro. It's the worst in Islam. It's shirk. What, what, what did you just do when you turned your camera off? I got some water. What? I don't get it. Oh, is this like a drug joke? Yeah, it, it was like a Coke joke. It's fine. Can't you tell when someone's on drugs? This is... uh, I, can't, I can't really tell. You can't tell when I'm on? <laughs> no, I, I really can't tell. I, I really don't know when you're on or off. Yeah, it's only summer times. But what are your thoughts on that uh, on that Trump, the Trump dude? Yeah, I mean, I predicted this. It's gonna get worse and worse. Like, dude, close your eyes and think of Zoomers. I think most Zoomers are gonna kill themselves in the future. Really, I do, I do. Cause like the, these guys are watching us studs talk to like garbage women. These guys can, don't even get a chance to talk to the garbage. It's gonna get like all doors are gonna close for the Zoomers. You know, all the smart ones are going to turn into success stories. But this is why when Sneeko says to his chat, he used to say this all the time. I used to love when he says this. He used to, he used to be like to his camera like this. Chat, this is why you guys got to get out of chat and start your own channels. And, you know, one dude out of like one million will hear that and actually start and change their life. And the rest are just going to keep watching, just consumer mode. But yeah, yeah, I think... Uh, that's what I was talking about at the beginning of the stream, why like, I don't want to stream forever because I noticed that I'm fostering a community that they like hearing the self-improvement. They like hearing the motivational speeches and all this stuff and they, they want it. They like feeling inspired, but they don't do anything about it because I have a, an audience. I have a lot of smart people that watch it. I would say like 30%, a lot of people are successful doing things. And then like the people that are really active, all they do is like, they're talking about Bradley Martin for no reason. They're like they just they don't do anything and then i get in a call i go in the discord vc once in a while and they're like sneeko can i have 50 dollars? send me 50 dollars." like how is that how are these people in my community begging of like grown men asking another grown man for 50 dollars, like a homeless person it's just like a it's a wake-up call like how are they on this side of the internet ban of everywhere we're on rumble now right they've seen me get wiped out the hears talk about like they know we talk about the Zionist and control mechanisms, and then I'm trying to like send money to Clippers, and they don't even have crypto. They just they're like, oh, I have PayPal. How are you gonna have the number one payment processor that gets shut down? That's controlled by the same people that we complain about. You can't consume this content daily and not be doing anything about it. You're not improving your life by just watching this content. You're cucking yourself. You have to actually be doing something too. And seeing that, well, you know, I also want to take responsibility and try to try to motivate and, and try to you know, give people opportunities more too. Cause it's really disappointing to see that. I think 
you can tell who's a loser by have you ever done one of those put your name in and you get to win a thousand dollars like these kind of events i've never put my name in one youtube or anything my whole life and everyone in chat puts their name oh i could win a thousand dollars bro winning a thousand dollars doesn't mean you have flow it doesn't mean you have income it doesn't mean your life is going up there's no ascent there it's just a thousand bucks and yeah anytime you win money like, oh, I want a raffle, I want a prize. <clears throat> this is like broke mentality, man. Very. Like people spam it. I, I told a clipper in my in the love speech community I was gonna send him like a couple hundred dollars for going viral. And then you get other people spamming their crypto accounts, like basically like begging for money as if that's gonna change anything. A couple hundred dollars doesn't do anything at all. You need to like generate actual cash flow, something consistent. There's gotta be like there's gotta be something that you're producing. Uh, but a lot of people just like to hear this stuff though they just like being on the side of the internet and what what do you do for the to those to those those people that are not doing anything because you're, you're saying that the majority of zoomers are going to so obviously that's not the case uh, well no there's going to be an inner death or an external death obviously most of them are going to be inner deaths and inner death is like you freeze up and 20 years passes by you don't do shit. and that's really what i mean it's going to be like a get, like, I'll tell you this, man, I've never in my life, I, you know, you ask your parents for advice. And if you ask your parents to give advice to the Zoomers, everyone's parents says the same thing. They go, we don't know what the f these babies who grew up with iPads, we don't know how to talk to them. They don't even know how to understand us. And bro, I really think 90% of Zoomers in chat, in any chat, are autistic. I think there's something, I because there's no way that, Swipe left, swipe right, TikTok didn't uh, make their brain to, uh, you know, like they can't hold on to a thought. They can't hold on to a business idea. They can't, they don't just, they just don't got it. And, uh, and no, you're right, you're I, right. I feel like a phony giving them hope because I go, yeah, that's like 20 years of programming. You're no, I had that. And I like that. You, you always call me out for being a Zoomer because even that like the four or five no years. you're not you bro sneeko you're not a zoomer because you actually do your own work a zoomer but have you seen how many zoomers a big streamer will have on and they just never go anywhere with all that extra clout they were given yeah you're talking about like half of the people on kick that they don't have any motive i mean it's because they're around a lazy environment and they're used to the handouts i'm saying i had to, i had that autistic brain I had the TikTok like. When did you less. have welfare brain, Sneeko? Where'd not not really welfare good? brain, but I had like the um, the attention span problem, uh, and I had to like un I had to untrain myself from autism. Where like I had to learn, and it, luckily it was in my teenage years and it was in middle school. But I had to learn like autistically how to kiss a girl. Like this is where you put your. It wasn't like a natural like my lips fell into the girl's face. It was like okay, pull her hair back. Like hold, put your hand here do like this a lot of that information was not learned naturally it was through like youtube tutorials and like red pill books like i i read books about game before i even like started to understand women so it was like a lot it wasn't natural i had to unlearn a lot of that stuff before i learned how to do it because i grew up on the internet yeah but there's something about you that you also seek power like you walk in a room and you always want to feel like yeah i'm sneeko and Zoomer doesn't have that, bro. A lot of Zoomers are like, yeah, I'm Cheezer. I like Cheezer. He's cool and stuff, but he doesn't want to be Cheezer. Like, they, don't, they never want to go independent. And I'm like, yeah, that's Zoomer brain. You can't you can't teach that. It's, well, it's I'm pretty like, sure that guy hates you. I, are you saying you love really? him? Really? I think he's cool. Yeah. Well, little <laughs> well, like, yeah, I, I watch their stuff, and, like, they don't go live for a couple days. And you see, like, the way, the way that they, they treat themselves, they're, like, punching themselves in the head. And they, they kind of let the, they're like a slave to the chat. They don't have uh, s some sort of, they're not, they don't value independence whatsoever. Yeah, I heard that some of them can't talk to you or like, the, a lot of YouTubers are like that. They don't talk to, if the top dog's not talking to Sneeko, no one else is allowed to talk to them. I'm like, wow, bro, this is like, very strange, very strange. What did you think really? about, um, about Patrick, Patrick Bet David? Did you see that clip? No, oh, the yeah, yeah. I wanna before we talk about that. I'm Listen, go I it. met Pat. I like Pat. They were good to me on Saucecast, but it, you know, someone said it great. I think it was Gentile News Network, the Groiper. I love that guy on Twitter. Uh, he said, "It seems like it's a there's a litmus test, uh, and it's the JQ. It is to it's, see if, to it, see if it, you're it's real." People saying that there is real first, and I, I'm gonna keep talking about 
like I have no beef with Strickland, but Strickland is like it is the perfect example of like the white American who says, "Oh, traditional values, America first. And then also boomer shows, brain, boom, yeah, it's but he, boomer he, brain, yeah. he it's boomer brain. Like he he talks like a conservative boomer, but he's thirty. It doesn't make sense. Well, you can you can tell who's a piece because before when people were like, "Oh, where's this? I'd be like, "Well, do you know about the war?" And they'd kind of know. Now that the whole world sees all the dead, and they still are. Zombies. Then you can, it's like, why just avoid these people, bro? This is very satanic. This is a it, it is a thing. good litmus test, and, and we're pushing, like, it's good that we're censored, but we're still the ones leading the charge of truth. I'm going to quickly play this clip. They're, they're not going to hear you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show them the Patrick with David Cliff. Hold up. Trying to work, yeah. supposed to be a grandmaster. Your number one move should be protect your border, not Ukraine. If, if you're saying let's worry about Ukraine, maybe it's number nine on the list. It ain't number one above the border. That, that is the most ludicrous argument I would ever make. Well, let me ask we you have this. To take care of okay. America well, let me first, ask you this. Then we take care of everybody Why else. Why should America be supporting Israel then? That's thousands of miles away. How much money are we giving to Israel? Billions. How much money are we giving to Israel? I'm curious. Go ahead. I'm curious. Go ahead. Oh, are we sending troops over there? Are we sending missiles over there? No, but How you much are... money are we giving to America Israel? America does spend... dome we've given it since 1945. America has... America I think $10 has spend... billion dollars we've given to them. $3 billion is towards the dome. Yeah. How much money are we giving them? Billions of dollars. Not, not comparable to what we've given to Ukraine in 12 months. Mm. 24 months? No, no the, way. Isn't the not even close. Isn't the principle the same? You're doing it to help them defend themselves. No, it's not. The, the part with Israel is, is strikely, strikely different because it's both strategic because there's only one country in Israel that has historically always been pro-America and has been an ally in, in, in the Middle East, the Middle and that's East. Israel. Mm. Iran's not been the case since the Shah, right? Saudi Arabia now with MBS, he's trying to work and make progress to the point where Ronaldo, your friend, feels safe going out there with his mm. family to play soccer there. These are good things that MBS and Saudi Arabia is doing. He's kind of doing what the Shah was doing back in the 50s, 60s, 70s. I like what he's doing with Saudi Arabia. But Israel, to us, a part of it is also loyalty due, due to our faith, where we need that country, especially what America was founded on, Judeo-Christian. That's a little bit deeper than that. But with Ukraine, the guy's an opportunistic guy. Respect to him that's coming up to America, making everybody feel guilty and raising money. I salute him for being a great beggar and a great fundraiser. Yeah, so Patrick Brett David, I, I'm not sure if he's an Islamophobe. That's what some people are saying. I, I, I don't know. It seems like he has weird ideas about Islam. But this is the this is the litmus test. And his entire narrative is going to shift afterwards because he's talking about free speech. He's talking about censorship. He's talking about the truth and what we're supposed to get to. The guy is, he's a false America First supporter. He's not America First. Very clear. If he's going to be able to justify how we're sending $300 billion to Israel, but we shouldn't send money to Ukraine, you're a fraud. And I'm sorry to say it, Patrick, but David, like you were doing good things. You're having good conversations. But if you don't change your opinion about this, then people are going to start to see like, okay, where was your money coming from? People are going to start to question you more. And it's good that we're pressing you. It's good that we're pressing you on this because if you, if, if you can't see through the veil and, so, and see the lie that people are pretending to care about this country, but not have an actual justification to why all of American politics are controlled by Zionists, then you're a fraud. Right. And you got to really look at it just big picture. If the aid stops coming in, the baby stop dying. That's, that's how quick it goes. So anyone who says, well, we got to send the money is really, they really have blood on their hands. They do. I don't know what he did in his past. Some people said that he worked in life insurance. I'd like to hear him talk about it more. Maybe he was trying to justify it, but him bringing up Judeo-Christian values makes no sense because he's a Christian and he sees that like Zionists are spitting at the feet of Christians in Israel. Why would you values when the founding fathers are creating the, the laws and creating the, the constitution? They never wrote about Judeo-Christian values. They just wrote about Christian values. When the president swears in, he doesn't put his hand on the Torah. The president has to put his hand on the Bible. On the money, it says in God we trust. They're not talking about anything. It, it, this is the country was built on Christian values. I'm a Muslim, and I can admit that. But people are going to start to see through the veil. Uh, also, Patrick Bed David is. You can see he kind of got caught off guard there. You know. Do you think that? He, but he must have been expecting that question. It was something he must have thought about before. Not from Piers. <laughs> Do you think that Piers is undercover? I, I watched what Piers is talking about, 
And I think sometimes that like actually Piers is on our side. That like Piers is just a groiper in England with uh, with Machen B. Because okay, think about it from Piers' perspective. And in in since October seventh, he platformed Muhammad a job and he destroyed the unholy Shmoli. He did, even though like you you disagree with the job. He, his job destroyed him. He also he platformed. Andrew oh, his job destroys a lot of people. He can debate. He can. Yeah. And then he let Andrew Tate on the platform and he let uh, Andrew Tate for the first time talk about Israel after a long time of not speaking about it. He let him speak up about it and Andrew did not say that he condemned Hamas. Like publicly on Piers Morgan platform. Who else did he have on? He had, he's had, a, um, there was another a Muslim YouTuber he had on his platform who was really pro-Palestine. He's, even though he's, he's pushing back because that's the way we realized that I think maybe he saw it from the side of the internet. He realized that in order to platform people that the mainstream narrative disagrees with, all you have to do is push back. That's why Destiny's allowed to have Nick on YouTube and not get strikes like we do. He's allowed to have Nick on YouTube because he's like, nah, 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 nah. he's pushing back so they get to keep him on without the, because the mainstream thinks that he's just debating against him. He's disagreeing. He's pushing, he's painting him in a bad light. But when you nod your head and you agree and you're like, oh, okay, Nick, you make some good points about how America shouldn't shill for then they wipe you out completely. So maybe Piers figured out the loophole and started platforming people who make sense in order to get them on the mainstream stage in front of a bunch of boomers, uh, a bunch of people in England who are against Brexit. But the problem is when Piers is like anti, he's coming at it from a on pro Palestine position. But if Piers ever had you or Nick on, he's gonna make you guys look like very fast. That's I mean, what I. That's how I see Piers. Yeah, that's true. And maybe he's not as. I don't know. I just I like to think that he is based truly, but when he brings Pearl on a show and then he plays a song and it makes her seem like him. You remember that he brought Pearl. Up yeah. And then yeah. Pearl when, was when, if guy. he could do that to her, imagine what he'd do to the the boys, right? That's he true. Would, That's true. So like I, I, I wouldn't. When it's your turn to go go on Piers, I wouldn't trust him. But you you also talk about Hassan Piker, how some like you have a soft spot for him now because he's very like against Israel. I get that too, but the second. The, the news is the news is on Sneeko, Hassan, Piers, they're all going to attack the shit out of you. That's what I'm saying. Their number one motive is to make you look like a Nazi. If they can get a gotcha and like paint you yeah. as a terrorist or paint you as a they're going to use that narrative forever. Like, I, I got to admit, I, I like that Hassan is raising money for, for Palestine, but at the same time, he's going to jump at every opportunity to call me a Nazi. When Tyler Oliveira is making videos about the fentanyl crisis in Michigan or talking about black crime rates in inner cities in America, they immediately call him a and they, they put him in the thumbnails and they make his eyes bluer and they make his skin whiter, just like how they made Joe Rogan look like a evil anti person on CNN. They, they'll, they'll use that narrative to call you a Nazi forever because they don't have good faith. But my, I just have, I want to bring this tweet up here from Myron. You just talked about PBD. I'm going to send this to you, Zerka, so you can read it as well. Oh, you guys are all pressing Patrick. Damn. And even though, yeah, it, it's good. We need to talk about this, brother. This is the. No, this, Chad, you see how, uh, you see how, you see how I did this? Like I, I thought, I thought Sneeko and Pat are friends, so it was all nice. But if we're pressing, are we pressing? Pat? Oh, we're pressing. We're, press we're pressing. Patrick Brett, David, like, I've never been, I've never met him before, and he he let me do a podcast with Adam Sosnick, and it was kind of a setup interview. So I don't really have any loyalty towards the towards the show. Also, they set up Nick before too. They they. I I think the the healthiest way to look at these geopolitical affairs is, and this is going to get really bad for you guys who follow a bunch of people, but. If they were not talking about at all before the war cracked hard, you cannot trust them. That's that's how I see it. That's how Nick sees it. I mean, dude, these guys waited till it's a mainstream topic to open the can of worms about it. There's no way you think that's an accident. There's and we no were doing way. it. We were doing it. Got to give credit to Zerka too. Like, I, and, I, I, and I, we were doing it banned. We'd get banned and we'd continue to do it for a year. A lot of people get banned and then they push back and they, I mean, they, 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 they totally cuck out. Um, yeah, can't trust these guys. Um, I like the Tate brothers and stuff on our side, but they're afraid to talk about Israel for 20 years. I mean, that's a lot of blood on their hands. Uh, peers and these guys, like I'll never trust mainstream. It really comes down to Myron, Nick, Sneeko, I like Pearl, right? Pearl's great. And yeah, that's about it. Well, I'm still glad that, that the Tates are talking about it, but you got to give a shout out to Lucas Gage and uh, Jake Shields doing it on Twitter too. But it's also- Jake like, is cool. Jake is cool. Jake yeah, is yeah. really cool. I think you, you guys will get along too, but like you see how 
This is it's too strong. The truth you know, is you know too strong. That. You know why Jake is cool? Because his why? boomer impulse is to join the boomers, the neocons, and he fights against it because he understands it's wrong. Whereas uh, the guy you fought, uh, oh my god, I'm blanking. Uh, Sean Strickland. Strickland, yeah, yeah. His boomer impulse is just like it radiates with. Awesome. And I, I always say there's a time and place to say Muslims and have your little holy war. There's no time to say But it, it's it's after the Israel thing. Then it's Christianity versus Islam. Right now, the needs to stop. And you're not a Christian if you are pro-Israel. You are not a Muslim if you are pro-Israel. We're talking to Saudis now, right? The royals. Um, you are not... I love listen, Saudi Arabia. I love Saudi Arabia. You're not, you're not going... You're not going to make it to heaven if you're against Palestine. And this is like, it's never been more crystal clear. I'm from a war, right? I'm a refugee from a war. My war was nasty and bloody, but God damn, does it look cartoony when you open up Twitter. You guys are talking about opening up Twitter and it's baby and a bunch of these boomer moms and dads going, well, there's bad people on both sides. And it's like, dude, this is the... Oh, Zerka. Yeah, you froze. You froze. You. Yeah, well, uh, am I back? Yeah. Listen, all I'm saying is, yeah, you're good. we gotta be more. We gotta be more strict. Okay, we gotta say you're not a Muslim unless you speak about Palestine. You're not a Christian unless you speak about Palestine. If you're even one percent political, you have to speak about it. You can't start months after October. You can't do that. You gotta grab a time machine, go back in time, and talk to your conscience, mother. That's what you gotta do, and. <laughs> Yeah, there's really no sides here. It's like, are you pro baby or not? You know? Uh, Shark Attack, thanks for the 20. Says Sneeko and Zerka on Rumble Friday night. Loving the stream, boys. The topics you fire. Keep cooking. PBD getting pressed. Well, yeah, we're going to watch. Uh, I didn't see this, but PBD dropped a response to all this. I'm going to share the screen with Zerka. We can read. Um, it's long. Oh, it's he like, responded to Myron. Yeah, no, he was. Myron uh, responded to him. So Patrick Beth David responded to all the criticism. Uh, but it, it's proof that, like, you can tell the truth. I want to say this before we get into this video. Everybody watching, you can tell the truth and you don't need to be afraid of getting canceled. You don't need to let them win. We first started talking about this really big, that whole uh, debate on Fresh and Fit with Destiny and Nick was a year ago. It's April 20th now. This was a year ago. It's very funny I'm saying this on his day. But this was, and since then- well, you gotta <laughs> stop the comedy. You gotta, you gotta pick the comedy spots better, bro. On birthday i'm joking we were banned i was banned off of everything um about two years ago and, and we're still here it's friday night we're the number one stream on rumble right now i think you don't need to be afraid because there's always going to be opportunities when i first got banned on youtube rumble wasn't even really a thing so to be able to to be here at this time is a, is a blessing and also a lesson to everybody watching it in the future because it's going to continue to happen it's not going to stop at baby Palestine. it's going to happen in, for decades to come don't be afraid. Always tell the truth no matter what. Do not let these don't let these systems win. And, and careful with the narrative of oh the war that just started. This is fake news. I remember being a ch I was a teenager when I was seeing Palestine, bro. They're trying to make it like it's a new war. It's not. As soon as you use their language, you're gonna lose. This has been going on since the start, man. You got the whole new war, new war. I see Muslims talk about it too. Since October, since October, you're falling for it, bro. Don't call it a new war. What the f same conflict, right? Okay, let me pull this up. Let's, let's watch this video. Hopefully, the audio is going to work. Okay, so you can see. Yeah. All right. This is uh, Patrick Beth David's reaction to the Iran-Israel conflict. If you're part of the easily triggered community, do not watch this video, it's gonna piss you off. If you're part of the community that can reason in a logical, non-emotional, name-calling way, I wanna have a debate with you, tear apart my argument at whatever level you want, whether you're pro-Iran, pro-Israel, pro- He's already conceding pro defeat. Whatever you may be. One thing you need to know about me, just two weeks ago, everybody was saying I'm pro-Iran. I'm not about America because I called out Daily Wire and oh my God, Ben Shapiro this, Patrick, all he cares about is Iran. And then yesterday, after my Pierce Morgan interview, no, 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 Pat's a Zionist, he's a pro-Israel guy. Make up your mind, which one am I to you? I'm not sure. See, I thought you were based, Patrick, after you started calling out Ben Shapiro for being Israeli wire, when you wanted to set up the debate between you and Candace, but you're changing my mind. But Zerka, when you when you you saw the clip, some people were defending it before you see his justification. Some people were saying that he was just trying to explain why America gives money to Israel, not that it's justified. Um, sorry, they're saying F. Are you lagging? Let me see. Hold on. 
I'm a sod. <laughs> oh no. No way you crashed. I'm lagging bad. Yeah, a lot of F's are hitting me up. Are we back? Are we... Oh, the screen share is messing with it. Um, it's probably the Discord screen share. Is it Rumble? Ah, uh, oh, man. Just open it up on YouTube. I'll watch the stream. It's way okay, easier. okay. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to close it from Discord. Okay. Seems like I'm pissing both of you guys off, but here's where I stand. I'm about America first. I'm going to make my argument to you today, once and for all. I've been very consistent about my position. You tell me whatever you want to say, but let me start off by telling you this. My position is based on what these two eyes have seen when I lived in Iran for 11 years, 10 and a half years, and we escaped and came to Germany, then we came to the States. Are we back? It's still effing? Oh mm -hmm. man, with 9.5, it's still lagging, hold up. It's better? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're back, we're good, we're good, we're good. States. I saw with these eyes a lot of hate in Iran, Maghbat Amrika, Maghbat Amrika, death upon America, non-stop. So, having said that, for those of you that are defending Iran and you hate Israel and Israel's the problem and America's a problem, no problem. Iran's had control of their country for a long time since 1979. Why is it that their misery index is 61 right now? Why is it their misery index has doubled in the last six years? That's inflation and unemployment. Why is it that their corruption index in the world is 149 out of 180? While the world average score is 43, the Middle East countries average is 34, the North Africa average is 34, Iran's average is 24. How much corruption is there in Iran? And by the way, for some of you guys are like, no, 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 they're definitely not the biggest exporters of terrorism that is america that is not iran that's not what they're doing houthis hamas hezbollah you want me to continue what do you want me to do with iran what they're doing you think they get, wake up in the morning saying they love america no by the way history for you you know what's the first country ever that said death upon america it was north korea in the 50s do you know what's the second country in the world that ever said death upon america it was iran you know under who khomeini when january of 1979 when Shah fell. And by the way, for those of you that say, so what's your solution for Iran? Because I love the people of Iran, not the politics. I love the people of Iran. He did a good job of pivoting this away and talking about Iran instead of Israel. Iran. You want to know what the number two country, second country ever in 1953 that announced Iran as a, uh, Israel as a sovereign state. You know, it was the second leading Muslim country in the world in 1953 to actually announce Israel as a sovereign state, it was Iran. You know under who? The Shah of Iran, when Iran used to be at peace, when the Middle East used to be at peace, and he got along with Israel, even though he didn't trust the Zionists who ran the media in America, and he called them out all the time in many interviews with Wallace, and he's always like, I don't trust those guys, the New York Times, the this, the that, but he still had a relationship with them, and Iran never got up saying, Marek Baron recall, death upon America. That anger and rage came from a different place. Why? I don't know. Now, let me continue. I know why. It's because Iran hates the support that America gives to Israel. <laughs> with the people that say, well, you know, the part with Pierce Morgan, you know, it's a $300 billion U.S. has given to Israel. Uh, that's adjusted to inflation. It's really $150 billion since 1948, 76 years, of which most was given before 1980. Do you know why? Because on January 1st of 1980, you know what Jimmy Carter said? We're no longer giving you a lot of aid. He did what Biden does. He brought it all the way down to $200 million at the time, okay? Biden, Carter, very similar. And it was shambles in the world. Carter, Biden, shambles in the world. Similarity, case study. Watch what happened from there. Do you know from 1980 till today, U.S. has given Israel three to $4 billion per year, okay? Military aid. Economical aid, it's in the hundreds of millions of dollars. I don't even think they've given any money, but anything in the last 15 years, you can go look it up for yourself and see where that stands. And again, let's let's stay on this because some of you guys are gonna be like, yeah, yeah, but what's your point? We're still helping them out. Okay, well, you want me to help you out if you wake up every morning and you say death upon my country? Why would I help you out? And by the way, who is US's number one enemy in the world that caused, hello, and still hasn't been held accountable for. Do you know what that country's name is? China. Yes, it's called China. Do you know who gave Iran three to $400 billion for the next 25 years? 
China. So you want me to be allies and friendly to Iran knowing they just signed three to $400 billion. And by the way, for those of you guys that like math and adjusted to inflation, what do you think three to $400 billion China has given to Iran right now is gonna be in 76 years? Two, three, four trillion dollars? Is that also what you're gonna be saying? So maybe you're team China, cause I'm not. I'm team USA. I can continue on and on and on. I'm also not part of the camp that's sitting there saying Netanyahu didn't know that an attack was going to be taking place and CIA warned them. And I've interviewed the former director of Mossad, so there's not a lot of trust I have with them claiming to have the best intelligence, yet you get caught single-handedly, publicly, on October 7th. Come on now. Maybe you knew something was was taking place. I don't know. I am purely asking questions. But what I would like to do with you Everybody watching this falls in one of three camps. One, you're part of a name calling camp. Do your thing, it doesn't bother me. I'm 45 years old, I made it to the levels that I have. If my wife, my kids, my family, I get along with them, I'm good. I don't need to win everybody over. But I would like us to have a relationship together, me and you, whether you agree with me or not. Let me tell you why I think we should have a relationship together. If you live in America, you're Muslim, you're Christian, you're seven day, you're Jewish, you're atheist, you're Scientologist. I don't care what you are. You ought to be America first because this is where you raise your kids because that's what I am. And by the way. So yes or no, should we shill money to Israel? Just answer the question. If you're America first, is this is the question that everybody's pressing you about. Whatever religion you got, you know why I'm hoping that we can build a stronger relationship with Muslims? Because we may disagree on the prophet, maybe Muhammad, maybe Jesus, maybe Abraham, but we don't like what they're doing to our kids. That's where I come in. And I want us to talk. Debate religion, set it's it deflecting aside. like Hillary Clinton. You want to mess with our kids? I'm not okay with that. Number two, mess with my religion. You want to practice your faith? I do as well. I don't want you to shut it down when it's because you're saying Christians can't go to work yet, everybody else can go because it's non essential. I don't want that. I want freedom of raising my kids to my values, your values religion, enterprise, business, speech, whatever it may be, so we can do our part. If we're on the same page, we need to fight for those same things. Two, I don't like the temperatures being too high right now. Man just set himself on fire in New York. What the hell is that all about? Do we want more of this? No, I want to lower the temperature. It doesn't mean you and I have to agree 100% of the time. Listen, I can talk to anybody and get along with anybody. I just talked to Suge Knight tonight. Guys call me from jail. I get along with billionaires. I get along with millionaires. I get along with a regular guy. Name drop. I get along with sitting down and having conversations with Muslims on the podcast, Christians. It doesn't matter what you are, white, black, Asian. I don't care, I get along with everybody. I enjoy the conversation because I like debate. I like discourse. I know I can talk. I think he wants to run for governor of Florida. This is why he's speaking like Hillary Clinton. This is his angle. This is why he's selling out to the Zionists. Politics, I can talk sports. I can talk business. I can talk economy. And I'm not 100% expert on all of these things, but I have some experience where I want to talk about it. And my goal isn't to be right 100% of the time. Matter of fact, I like to talk to others that they give me a different argument. But this concept of where we are today, thinking this is a good thing, I don't think this is a good thing. I would like to find a way to lower the temperature. That's where I am at. As a guy that was born in Iran who witnessed what happened as a kid that went to Iran until fifth grade and wasn't happy about all the mad bad Omri call, mad bad Omri call, mad bad everybody. I don't like- Bro, some of the people saying we're not listening, he's cooking. What is his point? In nine minutes here, his major point was he wants to lower the temperature. That's not answering the pressure that he's getting. Yeah. It's too much hate. It's almost over. We need more love. We need to have yeah, our differences come together and sit down and say, what are we diff- He's the, good, the, though. He's follow, follow a really good response. Can you tell that he wants to run for governor of Florida? I can tell that that's probably his next move. Yeah, because he can't do president. He can't do he's president. He was born in Iran. I noticed it, too, when he was standing next to Trump at the UFC fight. He's, get, he's making the right moves, and he's creating the right atmosphere and he's creating the right reputation in order to, to angle his way into politics he has the money he has the influence and that's why he's able to get these people on his show it seems like that's the next step because he doesn't it, he doesn't need the money from youtube he, he wants power it, it looked so it, this is like a cheap way to respond like it was a great response but these responses that are like oh so you're with china then come on bro this is like what the f-? but it was a good response that's how you defend yourself that's intelligent but uh, yeah, he avoided the whole JQ. Uh, I mean, they just got to go back to talking about the bloodshed, right? Because making it about China and other stuff, immediately Israel don't look so bad now. Oh yeah, we're, we're in a race with China and blah, blah, blah. 
He's good at he he dodged. He dodged. Like he's Kobe, bro. But it's not gonna work. This has like eight hundred quote tweets. So there's thirty seconds more. I want to finish it, but uh let's, let's finish yeah, it. Yeah, finish, finish. In the following areas. Let's light it up on this. I, I, I think Ben Shapiro is necessary. I think Tate is necessary. I think anybody out there that's voicing their opinion in ben a Shapiro's respectful not manner necessary. is necessary. <laughs> Having said that, I'm not going away. There's only one person that can fire me is a man upstairs. If you watch this whole thing and you're able to still reason, please comment below and tear apart whatever argument you have. But for what it's worth, I appreciate you for watching this entire video. Thank you. God bless. Nice. So I want to see you. Let's meet, read Myron's response. So Myron said, PBD, first and foremost, I respect and admire you. However, this is one of the few topics I disagree on. Foreign aid needs to be stopped in Israel is the biggest receiver since its creation in 1948. I'd be happy to have a respectful cover, uh, discussion on this, but here's the cliffs and why we need to stop aid. Can anybody justify why Israel is our biggest ally? These boomer conservatives like PBD will always repeat this talking point. They're our ally. They're our ally. Can anyone just give me a reason? What benefit do we have from Israel being our biggest ally? Besides fighting all their wars for decades, for constantly going to war under the lie of, oh, we're spreading democracy worldwide. First off, if we're America first, we shouldn't be trying to fix these countries in the Middle East. It doesn't matter what they're doing. It has nothing to do with us. We need to fix the problems that are here. We're saying America first. People are ODing on fentanyl every single day here in this country. The inner cities are being destroyed. Look at the DMV in Chicago. There's girls that are like breaking down the windows. And we're going to say we're America first while shipping away soldiers, these kids from West Virginia, overseas nonstop. America first starts by stopping all these random wars. And the wars are to protect. What benefit do we actually have from I want PBD to answer that. Instead of deflecting, talking about COVID, talking about all this, all these random subjects for nine minutes, tell me what we gain from having Israel as our biggest ally. Why do we give them all this money? Why do we give them billions of dollars of aid every single year? Until they answer that, I think it's pretty obvious to everybody that you're just deflecting. No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that whatsoever. But no, Myron did a good job of answering that because Myron is probably not going to go into politics and and he, he doesn't have any, he doesn't have any, and I know that they've had a relationship before. PBD has been on the Fresh and Fit podcast. They've um, they've worked together before. So that could be a good discussion. But if I, if I were PBD, I would just avoid the subject altogether. I know people are going to continue to press him and I think it's good. I think it's good to continue pressing him because Americans need to wake up to this, right? Like, it's not just about like ruining his reputation. I know people are going to say like, oh, PBD is a conservative, so we shouldn't pressure him. Well, people are dying. There's a genocide going on right now, and we're continuing to fund it with our tax dollars. If we don't continue talking about this, then all the conservatives are going to continue voting for conservatives that are supporting this genocide. We're going to keep electing people that don't care about or not even aware that they're going to be supported by Americans that are not aware of what's going on. So we should only elect politicians that are actually America first. Conservatives that are not sold out to the Zionist regime. Are we? Well, the, the view count just messed up. Are we good? Are you botting? What do you mean it messed up? It's, it says one viewer right now. I'm not botting. You can't. I, I don't even think you could bot on Rumble. Myron's been on PBD. Yes, he has. Yeah, Myron's cooking, and I was surprised since he's been on PBD that. Uh, He'd be like that. He's real. As f Doesn't hold back one bit. What were you? People are saying Zerk is tweeting right now. What are you tweeting? Just. I haven't. I haven't tweeted enough pushback. Oh, I gotta get back on my sh political shit, right? Yeah, you have. It's, it's really hot right now. Like, look how Jackson Henkel, your boy's taking over, bro. You told me about Jackson Henkel like I think uh, months before he took off, and he's probably like the number one Twitter account right now. If we look at yeah. I'm gonna say well, what? you know, not to attack him, but uh, I do remember talking to him about it a year before he started, you know, his online reign. So I guess I kind of like one in the chat. If I made Hinkle, like I formed his opinion one year early. Or well, he's still a communist. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like the whole equality. Equality with what? Is there? How is a streamer equal to his chatter? They should have different paychecks. 100%. But I, I really don't even understand his point of view. And I'm seeing like uh, some more conservatives. I saw Lauren Chen uh, get 
posted on Right Wing Watch because she said that she doesn't even believe in democracy. Um, and then you, you kind of that makes sense when you understand that women's most contentious issue is a you give women the right I to cannot, vote. Not bro, I cannot hear that girl talk because she's hot, bro. She's that girl is fucking. I would. I, she's not hot like I would touch her or date her. You know, it's not my kind of girl. But like when I look at her, I go, wow, Lauren is wow. We talk about the half Asian, half whatever she is. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanna, I wanna hear. Her point. She's making some good stuff. Hey, so don't sexualize her. She's gonna be afraid to come up. Oh, she. Replied. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She no, replied. she's good looking. She's good looking. She followed me on Twitter. I see. I said, uh, "Hey, Lauren, would you like to come to my stream tomorrow?" Dude. No, bro. She's gonna see this now. What the f no, nice job, man. And she said, "Hi, yeah, I do. Thanks so much for the insight, but I'm actually traveling in and out of LA this weekend for some filming." Okay, so she does want to come on, but not tomorrow. Okay, good. Good. So you got to give her the don't don't tell her you can't tell somebody like hey would you like to come Look, on my stream you have to give her a date bro, give her a time speak, oh, seeing a girl say she doesn't believe in democracy is so attractive bro. relax bro I I respect her opinion and, you know what I mean chat yeah I do I think she's the first person to just say it out loud she's like and then she did the whole well I'm not a <laughs> no you are you're one of us what's her oh, I want to I want to watch well, um I'm gonna play this real quick. She said, we've been doing this a long time. We'll never understand our posting clips. Okay, let's see. She doesn't believe in democracy. What does Lauren Chen think? Or we're going to have her on stream, inshallah. When it comes to dealing with the rights woman problem, there are definitely those of you out there who will just say, well, it's simple. We need to repeal the 19th. And trust me, I am no fan of the 19th Amendment myself. I think it more so than anything else solidified in our consciousness the idea that the political Wait, process what? should be one person, one vote which is not oh, a good shit. I don't oh. believe in democracy. I believe individual oh, shit, rights Patrick, and the government are way more no. important than the idea of what he said everybody about you? having- Wait, what did PB say? He said, Sneeko's a f No, I'm kidding. What? <laughs> this guy actually buys it, bro. Wait, let me finish bro. this video before I start roasting pay PBD. There's no way he said that. He's trying to run for office. ...a vote, and if the past few generations have showed us anything, it's that democracy and individual rights and limited government don't often go hand in hand. I'm in favor of a limited franchise. And by the way, no, that's not a radical position. That is the position that the founding fathers have. When it comes to dealing with the rights woman problem. Yeah, that's good. But she makes a good argument for that. And maybe some people were answering me about that the other day. Maybe democracy is kind of aged out. It doesn't seem like, unless we can get people on the same, on the same page and unless they get rid of censorship and they let actual free discussion happen. Uh, it seems like democracy is not the way to go. What, what did PBD say? Am I getting, they're all saying wood to, to Lauren Chen. Hey, don't creep her out like we did with Brett Cooper because I'm going to then fumble a bunch of collabs. We don't want to creep out Lauren Chen. We saw what happened to Brett. It could have been a great collab. I like Lauren. Okay? I like her opinions. She's a smart and uh, she's coherent. Okay? And don't, don't bring up the free mixing uh, thing, Muslims, because it's a, uh, it's a political collaboration. <laughs> Zerka, did, did, wait, did, uh, did PBD actually respond or you're just- you're No, okay. no, bro, he would never respond to you. Yeah, he wouldn't, yeah, he wouldn't. He would just send his, uh, his co-host to attack. He, he just lets his uh, sauce cast guy, well, I forget his name, that really cute guy. He's like a super happy flamboyant guy. <laughs> What's his name? Uh, <laughs> My favorite, I forget his name. Whatever. Come on, Chad. We don't remember his name. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how he pivots from here going on. El Simco. Yeah. What do you mean, bro? I need yeah, collabs, yeah. bro. How do you guys even hear Lauren? Bro, Lauren's like one of the best looking humans on the internet. Right Relax, now, bro. Bro. Re bro. Just, 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 just. Who cares? She's married. I can say it. Who cares? She's, she is? It's not like we're... Yeah, you have no shot, like, at all. I don't want a shot. I just want to, I want to collaborate with her, and I don't want you to creep her off. No, I used to think, no, oh, this girl is overrated. And then I saw her say that she doesn't believe in democracy. And I look closer and one in the chat if Lauren Chen is the best looking right wing woman on the internet. There's some good one ones out in, there. In the chat, one in the chat if she should actually get a divorce and start talking <laughs> to sneak over. <laughs> Yo, stop, 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 stop. Um, okay, wait, so what should I respond to her? Say, did you watch HS and Zerka fight on the street? <laughs> <laughs> um, what do I say? Tell her that I was on Percocet, bro. 
with a dislocated shoulder. Tell her that I'm not going to beat her the way I beat on him. It's going to be way, way worse. Let's just not talk about that. It's thank She you actually said she'll come on your show. She said, um, would you like to come? I said, would you like to come on my stream? She said, hi, yeah, I do. Thanks for the invite, but I'm traveling in and out of LA. Where's the filming? Wow, she's actually down to come on your stream. I thought you were too aggressive for these people. No, 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 no. I see. I, I was able to fix my reputation by not having you on for a year. See, chat, chat, yeah, chat. This is what I mean when I said Sneaker should have his own podcast. Guest after guest after guest. His streams are so much better when he's got some guy in the back planning them. Bro, you should have Lauren. You should have every right winger on. You should be that the hub of right wing internet. You know, I was thinking about the other day, and when I was first blowing up, I had a lot of opportunities with these people, like. There was even that light-skinned black girl, you know, uh, Amala, or whatever. She has, like, the sleeve tattoo and whatever. I, I, I think she works for, um, who's that other? Dennis Prager. She works for Prager U. Yeah, I went on her show, and then I remember um, it was back in, like, the Red Pill days, and she was asking me about women. I'm like, yeah, you know, I could have, like, sleep around with a bunch of girls, and then she just ended the podcast right there. She's like, oh, okay, that's the last question. And then she never uploaded it. I'm like, oh, I turned off the conservatives by eating Red Pill. I, I'd be talking about women to, and there was another girl, this blonde chick. I even, I got paid to do some collabs too with a lot of these right wing people, a lot of these Christian conservatives, and they got turned off by the whole red pill, like sleep with 50 women before you get married rhetoric. And so I scared them off. But there was a time where I was, uh, I was getting a lot of these conservative shows. But we can, bro, look at this. You know how much money you'll make? You know, every right wing green channel, the Islamic channel. You know every right wing and cool with them red channel. And the middle that's like red pill. What do you mean by I green channel? They, like Islamic color green, right? Okay, green yeah, and yeah, red. Yeah. You, you're the only YouTuber or whatever you are, <laughs> Rumbler. You're the only guy who has the whole right wing you've met in person, each one of them. So you can actually be the bridge of money. You can make all the money. Like what channel talks to 30? right wingers that are christians and 30 right wingers that are islamic so no channel does that uh, i could be the you, bridge between the like the christian conservatives who hated muslims i can bridge yeah. them over and make them un-islamophobic like could you imagine a podcast where you put one destiny blue guy a bunch of green channels a bunch of red channels and then all the hating women crowd versus all the cucks on one big fat call called the sneeko show you're not thinking big enough, bro. You know why you don't think big enough? I remember when I was giving you these ideas, you're like, nah, bro, we could just sit back and get 10K. <laughs> I was like, what the f***? Nah, we could just do it easy. Yeah, no, like, bro, we could, we, I could definitely try harder, but there's not there's not more money in, in doing this. Like, I don't I don't get paid for having more of the guests on. Like, what am I? Is that true? Oh, right. It has to be a good synergy. You know, yeah. No, it's just hours. Oh, really? Yeah, I, just, I, could, just, I could just run the clock. I don't have to try it. Whatever you did today should be your style, bro. Fridays, you should... One in the chat, if you agree, this is how Sneeko should run his streams Fridays. It was good. There's, there's been a good variety, but now we're yapping. Um, oh, even yeah. Muslim Lancer responded. Everybody, please go check out Zerka Official at twitter.com slash Zerka Official.